Hi, I'm Tim Murphy, Director of Manager Research. By now you might have heard that you know, PIMCO founder and renowned global bond investor Bill Gross resigned and left the firm in America on Friday. Bill Gross has certainly been synonymous with bond investing globally and has certainly been the face of PIMCO since he founded it back in 1971. So certainly that's you know, a big change uh, from what you know, we've seen and what we've, you know, thought, how we've thought of PIMCO you know, historically. That being said, PIMCO has developed into the biggest global bond shop running more than $2 trillion in assets um, you know, as at near the end of last month. And behind Gross is, remains a large team of very talented investors. Now we've seen a bit of changes in the senior ranks at PIMCO. Earlier this year, uh, Mohamed El Arian, the co-CEO alongside Bill Gross, you know, left the firm. So we've now had the two senior figureheads of the firm leave this year. It's fair to say that we expected Bill Gross, who's now 70 years of age, to leave at some point. But the suddenness of his departure uh, and the fact that he's leaving to join a rival firm has certainly caught most investors you know, by surprise. That being said, we don't think there's any reason to panic, um, particularly if you're already invested in uh, one of many PIMCO funds that are available here in Australia. Now, we have currently four PIMCO funds that we uh, research and publish analyst ratings on here in Australia. Two of those are affected by this more so than um, the other couple, so I'll walk through each of those. The PIMCO Global Bond Fund and the PIMCO Diversified Fixed Interest Fund uh, which has a big portion of it allocated to the Global Bond Fund, we're placing under review at this point. As part of the people changes here, a new PM or portfolio manager is going to be responsible for running that fund in Australia. Previously it had been run by Scott Mather, but Scott, as part of these changes, has been promoted to take on uh, PIMCO's largest fund in the US, the Total Return Fund. So what that means now is that Andrew Balls is going to be taking on um, portfolio management of the Australian Domicile Global Bond Fund. We're yet to meet with Andrew, but we will over coming weeks and update our you know, view and report on that accordingly. But for the time being, both the Global Bond Fund and the Diversified Fixed Interest Fund will remain under review. The two other funds that we've got that are less affected by these changes are the PIMCO Australian Bond Fund and the PIMCO Australian Focus Fund. Both of those funds are you know, focused on the domestic market as per their name, you know, run by you know, senior investors like Rob Mead out of PIMCO Sydney office. And you know, the day-to-day -day management of those and the people behind those funds doesn't change. And so you know, we're comfortable remaining with our ex existing analyst ratings on those respective funds accordingly. So all in all, I think with these changes at PIMCO, while any change potentially can be unsettling, you're still talking about a very well-resourced, large-scale operation that's certainly you know, one of the best bond investors through, of the world through time, and their record has proven that. Can they continue to do that beyond um, you know, the Bill Gross era? We've obviously you know, got a bit of work to do yet to um, be convinced of that, certainly on the global side. We remain comfortable with what's going on domestically there. A couple of watch points for us. Um, you know, we certainly expect to start seeing big outflows out of PIMCO's funds globally. Uh, what that means for the value of some of the underlying holdings in their various funds as they come under selling pressure, you know, we're certainly keeping a very uh, close watch on, and I think that's particularly pertinent for the, um, the global funds that are sold here in Australia. But all in all, PIMCO remains you know, a well-resourced firm who we think you know, should be able to come out the other side of this with the um, depth of skill and resources that they've got. But it's certainly one that we're watching very closely. You know, our US colleagues you know, have had numerous meetings already with you know, senior management at PIMCO from CEO Doug Hodge right through to many of the CIOs. And you know, we continue to have that open dialogue and you know, deliver those insights to you, you know, as quickly and efficiently as we can. So please you know, keep an eye on your relevant Morningstar website as we'll publish the updates you know, regularly as we um, work through you know, the issues of PIMCO there. So thank you and we look forward to uh, keeping you up to date.